Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing a 2015 model year launch in tribute to the 1955 Vacheron Constantin reference 6087 chronograph. This is the Historique Condevache Reference 5000 in Platinum. The model you see here features the famed Condevache or cow horn lugs, but in a larger modern case, 38.5 millimeters in diameter compared to 35 on the original. It's 11 millimeters thick and from cow horn lug to cow horn lug it is 47.6 millimeters with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. It still looks and wears like a vintage watch in spite of the somewhat larger case. You can see on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, the lugs are nowhere near the edge of my wrist, and you can see that well from over the top as well. So consider this one suitable for a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. It really has a wonderful fit and feel, and it's quite low, so it will slide underneath the dress cuff. This is the epitome of a dress chronograph. Taking a quick look, here we have a dark blue, high gloss, large rectangular scale alligator leather with a combination of a sheer cut edge, a monotone stitch, and on the bottom, small round scale alligator. This is something that the best brands are doing more and more, using gator on both sides rather than calfskin on the bottom, because with gator on both sides, the strap lasts longer. It's more expensive, but it's also more durable, and this watch is worth it. You can also see that curved spring bars have been used here. See how far inboard the pivot of the strap really is? So the pivot centers themselves from side to side are much closer together than the 47.6 millimeter lug to lug span, which is why this watch wears so well on a smaller wrist. But to accommodate that closely drilled set of lugs, you need to have a curved spring bar so that the strap isn't impeded in its motion by contact with the case, so that's what's going on there. It also has the pleasing aesthetic consequence of closing the strap to the case and reducing the daylight between them. We have the Vacheron Constantin Maltese Cross in platinum, a pin buckle, traditional on a dress watch. We have the Corn de Vache lugs, and they are exceptional. This is highly sophisticated case making, and you can see that the lugs here have been welded on with all evidence of the welded joint removed, and this is a particularly delicate joint because of the immense crease between lug and case that runs all the way around. There's really no place all the way around the lugs, except maybe the interface where the lugs join the case, but there's really no place where they're perfectly flush. These lugs are stepped out all the way around, and so it's very difficult to weld and then hand finish to create a case this clean. So this is an extensively handmade case. Cylindrical profile, everything's in high polish. There's a little bit of a step than a domed bezel. You can see there's a pronounced a camber to this crystal to give it a little bit of a vintage plexiglass-like look. We have the Maltese cross on the crown, and take note, Vacheron puts a little kerf underneath the crown so you can dig in your fingernail and more easily use it. We have old-school pump-style pushers. Then we have a metallic sunburst center dial. And we have actually what's a fascinating combination of solarization, concentric and sunburst. So let me try to show you what I mean. First, the sunburst is outboard. I said center, it's really the outer ring, and you can see that there's this brushed pattern underneath the tachymeter scale. The tachymeter can be used to gauge the speed of something, for example, a car over a kilometer, and with a base 1,000, that's a natural match. Now, moving inboard, you can see we have this sort of satination, which is called opaline, where it's a lightly frosted sort of grained profile. It's not the explosive metallic finish of a sunburst. It glows softly. And then we have concentric patterns inside each of the sunken sub-registers. You could see that there's a track outboard for reading the chronograph fractions of seconds, seconds, and then the minutes, clock time. We have applied Roman numerals and indices. They're all white gold along with the Vacheron logo. And the hands have a wonderful cambered profile. You could see they're rounded across their top like a vaulted barrel, and then they're polished. And this speaks to great attention to detail and fidelity to the historic prototype that inspired this watch. Only about three dozen of the 6087s were made in a combination of very few in platinum, 
then rose in yellow gold. And the platinum ones were made decades later. So any watch with this design is going to be scarce, as there aren't a whole lot of these, nor are there a whole lot of 6087s floating around. Column wheel feel is exquisite, and so is the sound. Flip it over. We have Vacheron Caliber 1142, which is based on the historic and legendary Le Mans 2310. As the Omega 321, this movement went to the moon, and as the Patek CH 2770 and the Vacheron 1140 series, it's featured in many high horology chronographs. It's also been used by the likes of Breguet and Roger Dubuis. So this is often considered to be the column wheel chronograph of reference for auto logerie and as you can see it's a beautiful movement beautifully finished geneva hallmark and that's reflected in the execution of the mile wide bevels we have one two three interior angles four interior angles that i can count and they're nicely executed and that's where two bevels meet in a sharp cleft crease we have steel components for the chronograph the yoke the column wheel the levers horns the resetting hammers and they're all satinated across their top and then beautifully mirror beveled on their sides. Not easy to finish steel like that. All of the bridges and brass feature Cote de Genève across their tops. All screw heads are black polished with chamfered slots and circumference. You can see that there is engine turning on the base plate and then satination on all of the wheels. 21 joule manual wind. 3 hertz beat rate, 48 hour power reserve, column wheel, lateral clutch, 5 position, high horology and chronometer style adjustment. Remember, those are all going to generally be five position adjustments. Now, if you look carefully, you can see there's some nostalgic little elements. The lateral clutch is not as precise as a vertical clutch, but it's more beautiful, which is why at companies like Patek and Vacheron, the lateral clutch chronos often require the higher end watchmakers to regulate and tune them. And you can also see that all of the jewel sinks actually have their own internal partridge eye polish really nicely done there's a maltese cross in black polished steel at the center of the column wheel and all the crenellated columns those crenellated peaks that give the wheel its name the rue de colonne they are all black polished on their top as well the balance is modern a free sprung architecture for precision of adjustment and shock resistance and that includes an overcoil hairspring to ensure concentric breathing in any position so that it'll keep consistent time in many positions and then all this water resistant down to 30 meters column wheel feel here will not disappoint it's world class and that goes for the watch as a whole. So reach out to Timaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details of this platinum Vacheron Constantin Historique Corn de Vache chronograph.